So today I'm back with a hair tutorial, a natural hair tutorial, so I know you're going to be excited about that. So before we get into this video, if you guys have not seen my Blue Magic um, Queen Helen Cholesterol video, I will link it in the description box below. And if you guys have not seen my Blue Magic Takedown video, so I, after I showed you guys the results of how my hair turned out from using a Blue Magic, it will also be linked in the description box below, so make sure you guys check it out. Also, make sure your notifications are on. I will put it right here. Make sure that you select all so that you are notified whenever I post a new video here on my channel because the natural hair videos are gonna be rolling in. And, 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 and you don't wanna miss these side goals. <laughs> no, but seriously, you don't wanna miss them. Okay, so you guys know I'm kinda doing this series where I'm using products, throwback products. Now, before we even get into the video, you guys know that I know that these products have been around way longer before I have been around. But I am a 90s baby. These are products that I used in the 90s. I know these products are older. I know. So the first product that I'll be using, I'm basically doing a hairstyle too. So you guys are getting a two-in-one. You're getting a hairstyle and you're getting a review video on a throwback product, right? So today, we're going to be using everybody's favorite. I mean, I think it's everybody's favorite. I know everybody that is black. Power to the people. But <laughs> if you have not had this in your household growing up, then I, I'm kind of kind of suspect. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm kind of like, what's up? Like, what's going on? But I know most people have had this product in their household. And it's the Luster's Pink Oil Moisturizing Hair Lotion. And it looks like this. You guys know this infamous pink bottle. When you see it, you can see this bottle from a mile away and you'll know what this is. Now, I think they do have a Luster's Pink Lotion moisturizer for natural hair. It's specifically for natural hair. Um, I didn't see it at the store when I went. I'm not going to try to hunt it down. I live in Atlanta. And if you live here in Atlanta, then you know trying to get hair products is crazy. Like, products are like literally flying off the shelf. Every time I go to the store, like the shelves are empty. So yeah, I was like, well, let's just kick it old school and just use the original. Why not? So that's what I will be using. And um, yeah, so this is the original formula. It has vitamin E and B5 vitamins. It's for damaged hair, protects and conditions. Let's just read over a little bit of the facts. Um, it's to help revive and protect hair. It replaces moisture, moisture loss to heat styling in conditions damaged hair reduces breakage original lotion helps to soften smooth the hair for improvement of manageability so that is easier to comb okay easier to comb it provides more style and control for a variety of looks like updos and ponytails press styles natural Natural, so I'm assuming they mean natural hair, you know, natural hair got thrown in here, so, you know, <laughs> natural braid and weave styles. Great for maintaining waves for him or her, use a dime size amount. So, obviously, I'm not going to be using a dime size amount, I'm using a whole bunch, because I want to see if this going to make my hair popping. So, as you guys can see, I have already did twist on my hair. I am doing small to medium size twists because I have finer hair. And for me to get the most definition, I usually have to do my twist small. Because when I do like medium to large size twists, I don't really get much definition because my hair is on the finer side. But even if you have thicker hair, you know, doing small twists just gives you more definition, period. If you have not ever seen this, I really don't know where you've been. But um, yeah, so you're supposed to shake it up, of course, before you use it. And for those that don't know what it looks like, I'll just pour it out here. And it is like a lotion. It's just pink and a really, really slippery. It has a lot of slip to it. And it's crazy because, guys, growing up in my household, per se, we didn't use, like, when we had this in our house, this will stay in our house for a long time, like, literally that one bottle, because we didn't use a lot of it. Never actually used it for styling. So I was like, hmm, let's just go ahead and put it to the test and use it for styling. So that's what I am doing here today. So I already did majority of my hair, as you guys can see. Not applying any other like products on my hair with the lotion. I am starting off on stretch hair because my hair was actually braided down. And I did use product on my hair when I braided it down like maybe a week ago. 
but I just didn't want to apply any more product or mix any product in with it because I don't know how it's going to work and I just literally want to see how the pink lotion is just going to work on a twist out literally by itself um I know a lot of you guys tell me in the comments that you guys mix your products with a lot of stuff I don't do that a lot of times because I don't know if you guys know this but like if you're mixing oils in a product that's already have oils in it um, sometimes that can be very damaging to your hair. You can over moisturize your hair to the point where it will start breaking. I'm not sure if you guys are aware of that or not. So a lot of times I don't really mix other oils into my products sometimes, but it's very rare that I do, especially because I use a lot of products that are oily already by themselves. So there's no need for me to mix. See, I'm just simply doing two strand twists. You guys know. How to do two strand twists i believe everybody does at this point so i'm just twisting away and then with my twists i just twirl them around because since my hair is like short and like fine um i have to do this just to ensure that it stays in because my hair can unravel sometimes so yeah and i'm using a generous amount but off the bat like it feels good um the pink lotion feels good against my natural hair because um like I was saying I used this back when I was relaxed. I don't know if I ever used this when I was younger, younger when I didn't wasn't really good on my natural hair. It's giving me a lot of slip, which is nice. So I can't wait to see if I'm going to gain any definition from this or not. I hope so. I really do. I want to see. If this is going to define my hair. Because you guys know this product is like really cheap. You guys are probably wondering what I'm going to do to this side. Got some dead hair. But I'm going to flat twist it. I used to do this little style like back in the day. Like when I first went natural. So I'm just going to pin my twist back out the way. I'm going to do some flat twists. And I don't care about shrinkage. You guys know shrinkage is one of those things you you might as well not even run from it because it's going to happen. Period. I do have some old products, some gel on my hair over here. My hair is not dirty. Don't comb your hair with this. I'm just kind of scraping the gel off. Okay, y'all, my hands are so oily, and my um face probably looks oily. That's random. But yeah, so I finished the twist that I'm doing on this side of my head, and I'm just going to pin them down. Well, let me take this off. I'm going to pin them down. Wait, I need to actually take this twist out because I have some extra hair right there. So let me just twist that together. So I'm just going to pin it down so I can train it. Tonight while I um sleep so that all these so that all these twists so all of these twists go the same way. So you guys can kind of see how the style is gonna be gonna be real cute. So I'm going to just leave these in. I'm actually just gonna tie them up with my satin scarf. You can actually wear this as a style, but I'm actually gonna take mine out because like I said, my hair is not gonna do well like this as a style. Cause when I wake up in the morning, one twist gonna be that way, one twist gonna be looking that way, one the other twist gonna be like to the window, to the wall, to the wall. That's how <laughs> that's how my twist gonna be. But um, I wanted to go over some of the ingredients. Of course, this is not a natural natural hair product, so it does have like parabens in it, you know, alcohol. Stuff like that, you know, but it does have mineral oil, vitamin E, you know, whatever. I don't, listen, I don't care. I don't care. You know, all products, products like this are not going to be 100% natural. And of course, I can't pronounce half of the products on there. But that's okay, sis, we still going to do this video. Well, it's already done. My hair feels nice, though, honestly. And my twists have some movement to them. Do -do 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 -do. Getting some hang time with my little shrinkage. <laughs> hey 
Hey everyone, I'm back. It is the next day. So I've already started taking down my hair. So I'm just going to go ahead and finish taking it out on camera. So I did not apply any oil or anything to my fingertips to take out the twist because you guys know that pink lotion is very, very oily. So let's just zoom it on in. And as you guys can see, I'm having definition. Not only I'm having definition, I have definition. Now, I only unraveled them once so far, and that's typically what I do. Because if I unravel them another time, I don't know. My hair just does funny sometimes like that. I don't know why. It's just how my hair has always been. So I typically only unravel the twist, and I just leave it like so. So all the twists in the front are unraveled. These two twists right here are just from my um, flat twist over here on the side. So, yeah, let me get close so you guys can see. Look at this definition. Like, what? Like, look at this, y'all. Do y'all see this? Look at this definition. Oh, my goodness. Popping. Look at this. Like, I am so impressed. So, I'm just going to go ahead and take my pick. And I'm just going to pick the roots so that I can give myself a little bit of volume. Now I'm probably, I am going to disturb the curl pattern just a little bit, just because I have fine hair and I want to get as much volume as I can and have my hair look how I want it to actually look. This is how I'm just gonna rock my hair for today. First day hair typically does not work good for me. Um, so yeah, this is what I could come up with. My hair is on the finer side, so it's harder to make my hair look super full. So your style probably will turn out a bit different if your hair is thicker than mine. But you have finer hair, you have to work with what you got. So that's exactly what I did. And I actually really like it. It's reminding me of like when I first, first went natural. I'm also going to take you guys back again and to lay down my edges because you guys know I like to lay down my baby hairs. I don't know, it kind of just pulls the look together for me personally or lay down my edges. You do not have to do this. But it's optional but today i'm going to be using another throwback product another throwback product <laughs> so i'm going to be using some jam so i know most of you guys know what jam is we used to have jam in my household when i was younger before edge control came about this was the edge control we all know it doesn't last super long but you never know it might work better on my natural hair now i have used jam um, over the years on my ch I don't even, I think I've shown it on my channel but whenever I've done like box braids on my hair like way back on the beginning of my channel I did some box braids I didn't show you guys how I did them but um, I definitely did use gem to help me grip the hair and if you guys have never went to get your hair braided most people that braid they use this to grip your hair and this is the gem um, condition and shine extra hold and you know it's basically like a gel it's supposed to be like a gel that's more you know less harmful to your edges because it's softer. I'm gonna be really shocked about this. I'm actually not going to be using my um, edge toothbrush like I normally do. I'm gonna be using this bamboo edge brush. It looks like this. I found it in my local beauty supply store, y'all. It was just one of those items that I just saw at checkout and I was like, ooh, let me try it. And y'all, I really like it. I do, cause y'all know I reviewed that other edge brush everybody's doing using and i only like that on my um weave but i will come back and let you guys see how my hair is holding up or let you guys know actually no i'll just come back in a few days and let y'all know how my hair is holding up so if i do say so myself the pink lotion for twist outs is bomb like it definitely gave me the definition that i was looking for like i tell you guys all the time my hair is super super hard to define so i'm very impressed i'm very impressed and of course my edges are already coming up but that's okay but i like it though i feel like it gives me a softer look you know what i'm saying i think it's cool it's cool but yeah i'm really impressed the the pink lotion did not flake my hair or anything my hair is super super moisturized super soft um yeah, it's not dry or anything. It feels really great. It's really, really moist from root to tip. 
and I just love how it feels and also it definitely defined my hair as you guys can see and I'm just gonna actually leave this to to a stand on the side you don't necessarily have to do this style you can kind of just leave all of your hair out but I just wanted to do something y'all don't know I hope you guys enjoyed this throwback tutorial demo review <laughs> on products that we used to use back in the day leave in the comments below some products that you guys would like me to use on my hair next for like throwback products and i would definitely do a video on video on them but i hope you all enjoyed this video i hope it was helpful thanks for watching and i will see you all in my next one bye <laughs>